Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create form templates in ServiceNow. I have logged into my ServiceNow instance. Now let us see how to create a form template. I want to create a form template for the users form. Right? Click in the filter, enter user admin and then click users. Currently we are in the users list view. Right. And in the right side, you have you can see an option for creating a new user. I'm going to click that click new. OK, so now we are in the new user form view. Right. In the bottom, you could see an option. No templates are available. Create a new one. OK, so if you don't see that, then you just select this more options and select the toggle template bar. OK, click create a new one. Right. Click that. Right. In the right hand side, you'll be able to see a plus option. Using that also, you'll be able to create a new template. Okay, so we are going to call this a template name as like I'm going to create a template for the sales department. Okay, so I'm just going to mention that. Okay, and then uh, so I want this uh, template to be available for everybody. So I'm just enabling the global scope. Okay, and here you could see, uh, you can provide a short description as a sales user. Okay, user template. And then here you could see the various options, right? So the uh, active, I'm going to by default set it as true, calendar integration, outlook, internal integration, use of false, right? So these are the various fields. So uh, it doesn't make sense to have the other fields, right? The, the first name, last name, and other things. So we will not have that in the template, right? So passwords needs reset. So by default, I'm going to set it as true okay okay so if you wanted to add any field you'll be able to add it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the department field right because this is specifically for the uh, sales department right so i'm going to the sales okay okay so if you want to add any other fields you'll be able to add it so i'm not going to do that right so i'm just going to uh, leave it like this right i'm going to say submit so now we could see that we have successfully created a sales department template. So let's apply this template. Okay. So we could see the message that sales department template applied. Right? So we could see the department as sales, the password needs reset is enabled, active is true, right? Uh, so all these things uh, is coming from the sales department template. Okay. Why we need a template? How the template is going to help, right? For example, I am going to create a lot of users for the sales department. Right. So in that case, right. And I want a certain options like, for example, that password needs reset. Right. I want that to be by enabled by default or web service access only. I want to enable by default. Right. So certain options which I wanted to enable specifically for that department users, then I can create a template and then I can apply it. Mm -hmm. So in this way, when I create a user for the sales department, I just select the template mm -hmm. and some of the fields will get pre-populated with those values. So that is the advantage of using the template. Okay. In this demo, we have seen how to create a form template and apply that form template. If you like this demo, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.